Welcome back guys. We have another video for you for you guys today. We have a PlayStation 5 uh, dual dual sense controller, the nice ones, the ones that have this uh, interchangeable joysticks. Now the customer has brought it in wanting to install the famous now Hall Effect joysticks and we're going to do that. We have we we do offer this on our website. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how it's done here. So I've taken one of these controller little pieces apart already and I put it in a, a stand that I have here and we're going to get right to it right away. The stand that I'm using is a uh, very nice, very heavy duty, it's called Hako. All right, if you guys have any questions, you guys can always put it on the uh, comments there. We're going to start by applying some flux. To the solder joints here. And uh, I would use. Uh, in the, a few a few months back, I was just using the regular or meth old method of uh, desoldering these, but just one individually, one by one. That's ever since we found a better method, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. There is this piece that you can buy, and uh, you can easily. You can see I've used it a couple of times already. You can easily desolder the whole joystick off of the board. Now this board has a chip in it, so you gotta be extremely careful. But this works for PS5s, Xboxes, and I think there's some model for other controllers. Anyhow, we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna use a solder iron. And excuse me if, if you guys can't see perfectly what's going on, but what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna this aligns exactly with the with the holes there, with the solder pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder it like this and then pull it from the bottom. And it should come out very easy. All right, and then we'll clean it up and then we'll put the new Hall Effect joysticks that the customer brought us. And it'll be an easy job, right? Uh, I want to thank every one of you for your support and your comments there on the uh, on our YouTube channel, the the visits to our website, and all the ser services that you guys have requested. Most of them we offer now, and uh, if there's anything else you guys need, you can always contact us. So we're setting here the temperature to 400 C. Okay, so it's pretty hot. You can, I know my tools. You can always go a little lower, a little higher, depending on your needs. But for now, let's. I'm gonna turn the uh, fume extractor. So excuse the the noise there. Just waiting for it to to get hot. You can see the the fumes there. Again, this is a PlayStation Five Dual Sense Edge controller. This is the new ones, the ones with the fancy. Removable joy cons thingies. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Make sure I got it lined up. And give me one second. I'm gonna. And just like that, it's out. You see that? Now we are going to clean it up, so if you bear with me, I can show you guys how to clean it up and then install one. We're just going to do one, but I got to do both for the customer. Let me change the solder thingy, solder uh, tip. For this one, you could use your solder braid. Everything came very, very well. But in this case, I'm gonna use a pump. And if you do it carefully, you're fine.
All right, let's go ahead and start. You don't want to disturb any of those resistors or capacitors there. Otherwise, you have to put them back. That looks good. So as you can see, everything is intact. What I'm going to do next is um, clean it up. I'm just cleaning it with some alcohol here. There, now grab the I'm looking for the uh, actual Hall Effect joystick now. Give me one second, let me let me find them, okay? So this is what we removed, and uh, by the way, they were drifting. Sorry, I had made, left my mic over there. So this is what we removed, and uh, what we're going to be putting in there is going to be one of these nice Hall Effect ones. Okay, we do have these on our site. If you guys want to request that service, we can. Definitely do this for you. No more drifting. And so the way I like to do this is simply put it back from underneath. Make sure that it's tucked in there, nice and flush, like so. And simply solder again. Now for this, I like to put a little more flux on the, on the terminals here, just a little bit. I just do random ones to make sure that the the joystick stays flushed in there. If I notice any movement, then then I gotta adjust it accordingly. Uh 
All right. We can go as far as cleaning it with a little toothbrush here, when she's got it a little dirty. No worries, that's just a thermal paste that I use for the Nintendo Switches. Anyways, that's the idea. Now we will remove it from the stand. There is something I want to show you guys. There is a, a ride protect on this modules that we have to disable or enable in this case and the way we do that is by jumping jumping a wire and i'll do that for you uh, so do that on camera so you guys can see what i mean All right, let me look up where the connections go real quick. Well, I know, I believe, I couldn't look it up, but anyhow, I, I believe it's this one here. And if not, you guys can figure it out. Just look up, right protect, disable, or enable for the Joy-Cons, and uh, you, you'll see what I mean. I believe you have to jump with these wires here, and then you can calibrate it online. And it has to be done for both wires, for both uh, modules here. So one is right here. And the other one's right there. And simply cut this one off and we're all set so this is how you replace at least this is how I do it good luck with your repair if you guys want to do it yourselves good luck wish you the best of luck if you guys want to send it to us then we can gladly do it for you see how it's sitting flush perfect now the other one the other one is the same I simply have to disassemble it and, uh, and then we'll do the same on this, but... No, by the way, this is Gullet Kit. But uh, there's some better ones out there. I mean, they're all the same, pretty much. Anyhow, guys, thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for choosing YR Repairs for your service needs. If you have any questions, email us, visit our website, wayayeo.org. Until next time.